Without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning Master Acrylic Artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. Okay, you guys. Hi. Um, this is Ginger Cook talking to you. In case you missed the big intro, it said Ginger Cook. You know, I know you could have missed it in case you didn't know. Um, what we're going to be doing today for, for about the next few days, um, while John and I are traveling again, we're going to be doing these 10-minute videos that are going to be run around 20 minutes by the time we get through it. But it's like a 10-minute painting. Um, and these are, I want to do a series of these and show you just how to do, kind of relax and get loose. If you spend too long on something, you tend to tighten up, and that's not really what you want to do. We, we're going to go back to some of the old dead artists, the old dead guys, the old EGs, and uh, find maybe some ones you haven't heard of or maybe you haven't talked a lot about. And uh, today we're going to be doing a, one that I'm really kind of happy about. It's this lady and her dog in a boat. And I, I, you know, I've never painted this before. I'm, I'm with you. We're just going to start this off as kind of something fun. We'll have a traceable available with the actual picture on our website and also on Pinterest. If, well, probably on our website then. My picture will be on Pinterest if you want to, um, you know, do it. We're doing it six by eight, but of course you could grid it and make it larger. I wouldn't do it a lot larger because there's not a lot of detail. And if you did it really big, then it would be noticeable that the detail isn't there in the face of the lady and the dog. So keeping it small is kind of fun. But, uh, you know, we've had a lot of people that have, you know, liked that one lady that we had, you know, the picture of the lady with uh, in the chair with her dog. That was, uh, um, who was that, uh, John? Do you remember who that was? Which one? The lady with the dog and her, the chair. Uh, that was one that we did on YouTube. Everybody liked that. It was, I think it was Mary Cassette, yeah, I think. Mary Cassette. So the first thing I want to do is just, uh, John, if you... Uh, is besides welcoming to the channel, we're going to have fun today. We're going to get right down to business. First thing we're going to do is just trace our picture on. I've got a real six by eight canvas sheet. And what would John and I do? Well, John does mostly. He, when I'm through with a painting, he comes back and he finds these little six by eight canvases that we have, usually ten to a sheet, and he just starts using the leftover paint and starts painting them. Are we down here on the ground where they yeah. on the table? He just starts painting them, right, with whatever's left over. And I just kind of look for things that would have an interesting background. Here's the picture, and I thought, man, this was pretty close. This sort of kind of orange color was cad red, medium yellow, and white. And uh, there's even a little brown up here in the corner. <coughs> but this is a fun thing to do. If you're doing small little practice paintings, that's a good thing to prep your canvas. And it gives you something to work on. And one of the things we're going to be doing with our transfer paper is uh, we're using Sorel transfer paper. There's a link on our website. You can get like all these different colors, uh, blue, red, yellow, kind of almost black and white for, you know, in small sizes. You can buy this by the roll, but I have found in my life that a roll would last you forever because you can use these over and over again. Okay. So that's important to know. And you want some tape. I'm going to move my, I've got a cold, so we're going to move my Kleenex box where I can get right to it. And if I have sneeze, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. But the show must go on. And um, let's see, somewhere around here there was some tape. We had it just not long ago, we had tape. <laughs> you know, we should start off every show with nothing, right? Because this is almost, the. it's like, Elves, oh, here it is, came in the middle of the night and took the tape. The reason I say you want tape, one of these days I'm going to clean this mess up. I love our sock folders who have everything so neat and perfect. And again, you know, if those of you who are a member of our uh, 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 Facebook um, Acrylic Painting Club, did you get to see Mona's new studio in Sweden there? She got, she dedicated a room, and it's all so perfect. It's just amazing. It's so perfect. We admire that greatly, okay? I want to be like you, Mona, when I grow up. Okay, so um, here we go. I'm going to put this transfer paper. You want to make sure that you've got the correct side down. So if you're not sure and you want to use a pen, not, um, not a pencil, um, make, um, just do a little mark and make sure that it's uh, coming through, that you can see it. Because if you can't see it, then uh, I can barely see it. I think that was it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go ahead and um, 
trace on our boat and I'm pushing pretty hard on this just uh well, you know we've got a really great boat picture it's called twin boats it's on our website and uh it's just two little rowboats and um, it's really cute it doesn't have any people or anything but it's two little rowboats and they the back of the boats is where you personalize the name okay and uh uh, just so some of you who you know are members of our art academy would want to try that. That's a good one. And remember, you can become a member for just a week, and you have access to over 375 art tutorials, which is pretty great, I think. Okay, let's let's just hopefully this is showing up barely, but it's showing up. Okay. All right, and this is up and down like this. This is some sort of deal like that. Guess what's where the little boat is tied up. Now, she is a very interesting gal here because she just, um, she could be a lady in drag. I mean, there's nothing really feminine that I can see about her except for her hat. And we know she's Mrs. Moats and her dog. So that's good. We're glad to have that. And we're just going to put her in here like this. And she's sitting on the seat. Make sure you've got her sitting on the seat. Then her dog is really fun because he's just, here's her dog. He's almost got like this square face, a little ear here. Then he comes back like this. and He's got this fluffy tail. Hoo -hoo. A friend of mine had a dog just like this. And you know what's happened. I mean, not to be negative or anything, but you know what's happened. This dog has been screwing around in that water getting wet, and now he's about ready to shake. He got in the boat, and he's about ready to shake and get water all over, over her. That's what I see. You know, um, I have friends with dogs. I know these things. Actually, we had a dog for a long time. His name was Tank. And uh, he was, a someday I'll have to tell you, the t harrowing tales of Tank. He was kind of a, a mutt. He was huge. And the first time I took him to the vet, he got up and uh, put his big paws, a huge dog, got up, put his almost Great Dane size, but kind of a brindle coat, you know. He got up, put his paws on the counter went woof and just everybody just went running and they said you have to control your dog I said well he was an adopted dog I just got him I don't know how much control I have over him well you know John this could have shown up a lot better I think what I will do is just take a, a pen and outline it so I can see it a little more I just want it my pot because I really can barely see this I'm just going to take a pen and outline it so this takes a little bit added time to this, but I think it's worth it. Um, whatever you need. I probably, sh you know, uh, probably should have done white maybe, huh? Instead of this color. Because like I say, I'm not really, not really seeing this. This is coming down like this. But I want to make sure I have it because I said we'd do this fairly quickly. And I don't want to lose my drawing so if you if you think you might lose your drawing this is what you might want to do is just do something like this so you still have the boat it, it's funny in some places it really shows up and in other places it doesn't this is a Posca pen it will dry in a few minutes and um, you know it should be fine this is going to come down like this and kind of do that goes off the boat this angle here is very important that the seat go at that angle, that these angles like that, that's important. There we go. Just do something like this. Okay, coming around here like that, there's the doggy tail. Here's her face. Here's her little hat. Okay, like this. And a shoulder kind of coming down. Well, this sort of comes down like that, and that's her shoulder. You don't really see that much of her. She's got a, there's something like this in the boat and like that. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty easy. So excuse me a minute. Well, I'm just going to dry this for a second, all right? I just want to dry that so it doesn't go, any, go anywhere. Dry it. If I can get the hair dryer to work. Hmm.
Posca pens are different than a lot of the pens you've used in the past because what they do, they don't dry, you know, for about five minutes unless you dry them. All right, so we've got that. Here's our paints. Now we've drawn it out. So here's our paints. And all the brush strokes, I want you to understand, all the brush strokes are going across like this in the water. Don't get them at a weird angle. And it's a lot of color mixing, all right? So maybe the first thing we'll do, see, I don't think I put out any cad red. Maybe the first thing we'll do is just put a little uh, cad red out. Me cad red, medium, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, I reversed it with this time. Thalo blue, dosmine purple, cad yellow medium, yellow oxide, white, and maybe mixing white. I wasn't sure. Like I say, I've never painted this before. So I'm going to dampen my brush. And uh, I wish I didn't have paint all over my hands to start with. That's just so annoying. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. We just lost this oh man I just lost that here we go put that back all right this is I'm, I'm really honestly you'd think I was doing an ad for these things these guys do send us the towels after I kept talking about them but if you haven't if you haven't tried these tub of towels I'm just I just like to start off at least have a hope of finishing without getting paint all over the brushes and th th this will last for a while these are great if I haven't you haven't heard me talk about these 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 are really great for acrylic uh, paints Lots of lanolin, don't, environmentally friendly, all that good stuff. Okay, I think I need a little smaller brush here. I was going to use the 3 8 but I'm going to use the quarter inch. little cad red medium and a tiny bit of ultramarine blue, just a teeny bit. Like, not, oh, that's too much. Let's come over here and do that. So, it's almost a rust color. And I'm going to come up into like a rust color brown. I'm going to come up into the, just paint her in. Now, I know her, her outfit is... Uh, um, is red, but I'm, this is her underpainting color, right? Her outfit is red, but there she is holding the dog. And uh, put a little bit more red on the sleeve here. Okay. Yeah, we need, definitely needed the little brush, okay? And then there's something kind of dark under here. This is the rest of her dress. You know, in these days, in those days when those guys were doing stuff, let's see, what am I missing? I need, uh, I don't have any more rags, John. Could you grab me some rags, please? I have no more rags. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, keep on with the cold here stuff. Um, I'd like to have a rag right next to me that I can thank you so much. I'd like to have a rag right here and one in my lap. <clears throat> then I can kind of wipe off the excess paint as I go. All right, so that's that. And then let's take a little bit of burnt umber, right? And let's just paint the boat in. See, that's pretty easy. These angle brushes are lovely because you get such detail. So, anyhow, you can just see, this is just the first coat of paint. Now, the thing about doing these little fast paintings like this, I think you keep them small, and, you know, the original is going to have a lot more detail in it than I'm putting, all right? And I understand that, but we're just going to give the impression of this boat like that. We're going to say that's what it is. And now uh, let's see, I know that there's something pretty, well, that's the dog. That's pretty dark brown, too, here. Okay, the dog's pretty dark right here. So that's just brown, and with a little bit of purple, I think. We'll make that, that the dog will be one of our darker colors. Uh, I think he probably used black, but we're not using black, so we're going to say that's the darker part of the dog, like that. And um, let's see, what else can I put? Where else can we put some color? Okay, so now that's pretty much, um, oh yeah, we can put some up in here, like that on the inside of the, the boat, right here up next to that, that seat, kind of brown. Another color I think I'm gonna put out, so I'm not gonna take the time to mix it, is burnt sienna. Don't have a sticker for that right at this hot minute, but I'm gonna put some burnt sienna out, because he used quite a bit of that color in here too. So we'll put a little bit of dab of burnt sienna right in here in front of that seat, like that. And you don't want globs of paint on your brush. So if you see a glob of paint, just knock it off. The brush will carry a lot of paint. And if you forget that it does that, don't forget because the reason, um, let's see, a little bit of white with burnt sienna now, is that um, because the if you've ever tried to wash a brush, after you kind of rinsed it and there's still paint coming out, well, that's all, these brushes carry a lot of paint. Okay, so, and I think we want something a little darker up in here. 
right next to this one here too. What goes here? Yeah, something happened pretty dark right here. A little blue and purple maybe for an umber. Something happened kind of dark up here where this seed is and then coming under here like that got dark. So we're just going to do little blobs of color and see how we do. Okay, that's all we're going to do. So now while this is drying, I think that's about the much, most as I want to do there. Let's maybe finish this um, this little post. I think this is a post that the, the boat's tied to right there. Okay, so that that's, do we need to do anything else? Um, let's see, maybe a little bit of white, a um, little bit of yellow, a little tiny bit of cad red medium, and uh, we'll just do her face. Well, she's already got that color really on her face already, but uh, we'll just do that on her face real quick. Give it a little bit more red under the hat. So we're going to just kind of suggest a face here. And maybe as long as we're doing that, let's just suggest a hat. A little bit of yellow on top of the hat like this. A little bit of yellow oxide for the brim. Let's just say she's got her hat right here like that. And... Um, Ooh, as long as we're doing the yellow, we could do the yellow on top of the boat like that on the um, the outside of the boat like this. Okay, a little brown with it maybe, a little light brown. Okay, so you know what we do is we always look and say, where else could I put this color? Well, I can see that we've got some sort of yellow across this seat right here, so I could put that color right there. I'll put that under here too. I mean, I may change some other colors with it, but there, across this seat, there's a, there's that. Okay, and I'm going to leave the dog alone. All right. So so far so good, you guys. Yes and yes. Uh, one of the things that um, I love about the impressionists is that they saw the world a little bit differently. Okay. Uh, by the time you know photography had been you know had come out, I'm doing a little orange now here just sideways with my brush, a little bit of white with it, okay, okay, and so photography had just come out, and um, they were, uh, you know, so they could, we already had exact, you didn't need a totally detailed picture anymore of anybody, because uh, you had a camera for that, and you know, so then the artist started to look around for other things they could do. And the other thing that happened was, a little bit of this, you know, orange up here like this. Uh, the other thing that happened, which was interesting to me, was that, um, let's get a little brown now. Um, all, all angles, everything going kind of level on angles, okay? All right, like that. And let's come on over here to this side. A little bit of brown, ultramarine bl blue. Let's see, that's ultramarine. Okay, so let's put a little of this color over here like that. Some dark color. Is this good? Anyway, so uh, I started to talk. Where was I going with this? I had a good thought before I lost my colors here. Where, what, what, what were we talking about, John? I was thinking we were talking about something. Oh, yeah. So besides the camera, and they oh paints paints were now available in paint tubes. Up until then, artists were mixing their own paints. They couldn't leave the studio. They were pretty much stuck, and uh, paint recipes were guarded like chefs. You know how chefs sometimes will uh, guard a secret. Here's a little ultramarine blue. Put a little of that color up here like that. Then the water maybe over here. A little bit of ultramarine blue and white and a little bit of brown. Okay. Now we're just going to come on up here with color. Look at that. See, is this going fairly fast? Aren't you fairly impressed? How am I doing with that? I should put a clock here, John. I could see what I. Well, you can't count the tracing on. You have to count the painting on, right? <coughs> you can't count the tracing on, right? There you go. Better. I mean, I'm not going to count the tracing on. I mean, it took a while to find everything and trace it on and dry it and all that junk. Okay, so we're going to come over here. All the brush strokes are going back and forth. Even if they go down, they're still going back and forth when we finish. So it was kind of blending all this stuff in. Now, he, of course, so the oil paints, they could take them out, and they had tubes, so they actually had a way to get their paint somewhere, which was real important. Um, I think we needed a little bit of blue right by her. And then the rest was sort of gold. There was some gold in here like this. That would be like a yellow oxide color. OK. 
okay, like this. And let's take a little little ultramarine blue and yellow oxide, make kind of a green. And wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you've got some light around your face, then you need a few little dark things. So we'll just start layering these colors. That's what we're doing. We're just layering these colors. And don't don't sweat the small stuff. If just keep coming over, overlapping. This is a very carefree, uh, interesting way to paint something. I'm going to come right next to the boat here where the where it's dark and get some dark shadows going here like that. Okay. And then all over here too, because I mean, I'm going to show you right here, all over this way, kind of this way, there's, um, there's these dark lines, this, this dark stuff. I think he started out with a little bit of white and brown. I think that was his underpainting here. Maybe a little yellow oxide. I think that started out this way, something like this. And then the other color was over it. So let's do that too. Let's just do that. I don't know what that was, but we'll we'll do it like that. And then there was a little bit of that color in here, but that's still wet, so we have to wait for that to dry. Now the majority of this was sort of this light blue, which is ultramarine blue and white, and a tiny bit of purple in it, okay? Like less than 1%. So we're going to put the rest of this color in here like that. Now I could change brushes for that. Sometimes that's a good idea. Let's wet the brush and tamp it off change the brushes. And so here's our uh, water. Don't make this line too perfect here on the edge. Don't don't get that this line here too perfect. And we're just going to come back in here like this and uh, go back and forth. This is the key thing. Brush direction. This is a really good uh, video on brush direction. Okay. That's that's absolutely great. You want to have this, and we want the light right next to the boat. This light blue up here like this, and a little bit more of this color probably on this side of the boat. If you didn't quite get it, come on over here and do that. So Mrs. P what was her name, Mrs. Mrs. Moore's, it's Mrs. Mo Moats and Her Dog by Theodore Robinson. I think that's so fun. Mrs. Moats and Her Dog. And when was this done? This was done in 1893. Wow, huh? Long time ago. All right, so you see we're kind of getting there, right? And this, one thing that happened with this um, water was it kind of went back in here like that. Okay, now, uh, I'm rinsing my brush, but actually I can use the same kind of light blue. We had the same light blue up here on the boat, and then it kind of went into a brown color, probably because all his paint sort of mixed together. But he had that light blue up here on this edge, like that. Okay, and... Uh, now let's take some yellow oxide and white. And then on this side of here, this side of the dog and this side of the dog, there's this kind of yellow oxide and white color. Okay, like that. We'll just put that like that. And uh, I'm trying to see a little bit of this color up here, a little bit of burnt sienna up here. Just going to make this a little darker right there, okay? So, all right, so I'm letting all this stuff dry. Then I'm going to take some burnt sienna and burnt umber, and uh, just now we're at a different angle. We're going, at the, and this is still wet, but he pa probably painted all wet. So burnt, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and we're making some little downward slashes like this. I'm not sure why we're doing that, but that's what he did, so I'm doing it too. And as it colors are mixing as I do it. Okay. And then he had like had yellow medium and phthalo blue is like a pretty green. Put a little bit of burnt umber in it. A little bit, maybe dot drop of purple. Okay. And we're going right down here next to the boat, kind of where it, it angles, we have this green just coming this way. It's actually darker than that, so let's make this a dark green right next to the boat. 
Here's our dark green. That's the reflection, in case you guys were wondering what that was. It's pretty, though. I think he's got a little bit of this dark green back in here. And if we add more blue and green to it, we can come this way and add some few more colors into this background. I want something pretty dark by her hat because otherwise her hat's not going to show up. So come back with a little more brown, a little bit of darker in here. Okay. This is almost like, it's really interesting, when you think, look at this, this is, there's almost like a wharf here. Um, a little bit of brown and white. Okay, don't want that color. I'm going to rinse. There's almost like um, a, a wharf here, like something's coming down like this, like a pylon. And then he's got some little brush stroke like this. I I'm sure he had some sort of great intentions. It doesn't read very well to me, but, you know, we're doing it anyway, right? Because he did it. Okay. And then it got kind of murky down here, a little bit more beige. And now, okay, so ultramarine blue and burnt umber. Okay. Now let's come on our boat like this with the little angle brush strokes. This is our next layer on the boat. Okay, it has almost a blue-brown color to it. Put a little tiny bit of white with that. Because it's, I know it's, there we go, something like this. Coming along the boat back here. All right, there's our angle. Then ultramarine blue, purple, and brown. No white in it. And we will make this darker right here. Burnt umber is your darkest brown that I use. Okay, so here's some, here's some dark brown here that has to happen. Here's some dark under here. Um, a little bit darker under the um, toward the uh, bow of the boat, and a dark line like that comes up this way. Okay, so you, isn't that interesting? I mean, you're sitting there, you're looking at this, going, "Wow, you put all these little lines in here, and you've got and you've got a boat." I'm gonna take a little dazzling purple because I'm not going to use black, and make this a little darker right by her head. Okay, and then over here like this, I'm going to put it. Just a little bit of darker stuff. But it sort of balances out the dog. Here's a little bit of purple and ultramarine blue and brown. Let's see if we're going to make the dog a little darker right here. That's my darkest spot right there is that dog. And also it's dark right down here. Interesting. Take a little purple. Right down at the base of the water where the boat is, there's a little tiny bit that's dark right there. And you wouldn't think that that would make a difference, but these kinds of things all make a difference. So here's a little bit of a lighter green here at the edge. I don't know. You know, if this doesn't turn out to be a 10-minute painting, then it'll be one of the other lessons. How's that? Just the way it is, right? I mean, I never know when I start how long it's going to take me. I can guess, but I never know. All right, so here's a lighter green back over here. And even next to her, here's kind of a lighter green right in here, next to where she is. Some lighter greens up here. So everything's overlapping. I guess that's the way I would explain it. Everything overlaps. So ultramarine blue and yellow oxide make a kind of um, a moss color green. And we'll put a little brown with it. And we'll come right up on the side of the boat like this. About not, don't, you don't want to go too far with it, but we're going to say that that's where our, our, our shadows are, okay? All right. So I would say that, um, here's a little more dark here, in here on the green. I would say that our next thing to do is switch brushes and just let, the, let this dry, okay? Can't do anything with that until it dries. So what do we got? Well, we know we've got some light light blue on the seat right here like that where she is in the seat. Now you're just going to put a little bit and stop. You're not going to overthink this, right? The same thing on this edge. Just kind of wipe most of the paint off your brush and dry brush a little bit of that light on that seat. Take a little yellow and white. Cad yellow medium is a good color to have. Um, I, not cad, a cad yellow medium light is a good color. You can't really mix it. I'm not using that, but that would have been a good one for this. There's our seat. 
Now you notice you see me always wiping the brush off. Now I'm going to take a dark uh, purple line underneath it and make the edge of the seat there. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to do it on here too. Just he didn't have it, but I'm going to do it on there anyway. Okay, so there's the dark line on the seat, and then he had a little bit of it's weird, a little bit of light, little tiny brush strokes of light in here. I'm going to just tap that in. All right. Okay, let's see a little bit of white here. We have a little bit of a white collar. Let's see, my brush is dirty, so I've got to wash it. It's interesting. I'm looking at this now in the monitor, and it's interesting to me how it's coming together. Really interesting how it's coming together. So we have, if you like this kind of thing, I don't know. Do we still have the lady? You have a picture of that lady with the, with the, in the, with the dog and the, John, do you know where that one is? I think we could show that. I think we ought to show that when I'm drawing that. We should show that. Um, so you want eight by 10, yes, I can 8 by 10. And it was just, here's her, her ruffle coming down like this. Her shirt. Okay. There's actually a lot of detail in this boat. You wouldn't think so, but there is. I'm going to lighten this up right here. Like that. I want to lighten that blue up. So that dried darker on me. See? Cause, cause you, if you don't have contrast, you'll never be able to see what's here. There. So now the, now the boat's starting to show up. It's very interesting to me how this works. A little bit of burnt sienna and white. We'll come around the top of this. Finish that. Make it a little bit, a little bit darker outline this way. And this side we didn't. This side's very vague. It's just sort of all light yellow. But they didn't talk. He just didn't talk about much here. Okay, so it's a little bit more of the orange color in here now. A little bit of orange and yellow, yellow and white. Coming this way, down into here like that. Just little brush strokes all on the side of your brush. A little bit of white and yellow. Okay, John, and we'll show these in a second. I think these are ones, if you like this tiny, that's a little bright, but that's okay because the brightest yellow has got to be where her hat is. So you wouldn't want this yellow that bright. But we. We want kind of a light color back here, but nothing that bright, because what we're saying is the light sort of shining this way. We've got light on the inside of here. I'm going to turn the, let's turn the rag around so I've got a clean spot to wipe. Okay, now, I think we could spend a little time on her hat. So here we go. Here's the light yellow of her hat, her brim. She's got a nice brim. It kind of rounds in the back like that. It's got a nice rounded shape to it. And then the top of it is uh, right here. The side is white, right like that. And you just wipe the brush off and do that. Just touch it and stop, right? And then the very top is just sort of a circle, like an oval, right? So there's her brim. And then in order for you to see the difference, there's a little tiny bit of burnt umber. Uh, like that, okay. So we do one more thing here. <coughs> All right, moving along, there's that little tiny bit of burn umber right there to make it look like you've got a hat. This is all, what, what's neat about this painting is that it's all um, done with uh, uh, just little dots of paint that makes something look like something, okay? So like here's her her vest here, which kind of comes down. It's got a little bit, a little color in it. Now I'm going to take Cad Red Medium, and I'm going to come down on the back of her coat like this and start making it, um, allowing for some of this to just show through. Just put a little, and use the dark brown as the lines. You see what I'm doing? I'm using the dark brown 
as kind of the outlines and then just sort of filling in with the red. And then here, here it is, just sitting there like that next to the dog and it's very, it goes clear under his head like that. Okay, now, so you can see, you can kind of see her now sitting on the boat, can't you? And we want a little bit of this red, same color red up here in the water. Just a little bit, just to bring that your eye back up there. And now I'm going to take that same red and give her some shadow under the hat on her face. And uh, I'm going to zoom in on her face. Now he did sort of outline the face, and this is so small, I don't think I can really do it that well because it's really small. Um, but I can kind of indicate hair, like here under the hat, like that. I can indicate some hair. And um, I don't think I can indicate as small as this as much of a face, but we'll see. Um, okay, time to rinse the brush. Now, again, I'm not going to try to do that much of her face. We're just going to suggest that, you know, that her hair, here's her head, and it's darker under the hat like that. And we'll just, there's her hair. And I think her chin comes down a little bit lower here. And then underneath it is that is, it's dark. So it's dark under here like that. Okay, so that, there you go. There she is. And, uh, a little bit of white coming out. My dear, this isn't any 10 minutes, is it? No. Well, you know, John, we, we just start, look at these things and you say, you look at that and go, well, that couldn't take long, right? I mean, how long could this possibly take? Take, I mean, you know, we know we want a little bit of white here on the seat here. Now what's happened is my whites got all contaminated. We haven't even done the dog yet, but the lady looks pretty good. I think the lady looks pretty good for now. Um, uh, I want a little bit of white and yellow. And I want it very light up here on the brim of her hat. And on the top, too, like that. There you go. So it's all about lights and darks, you guys. It's all about lights and darks. There's a little yellow behind her, like that. Here's some kind of bright, kind of light yellow right down here by the dog. And um, he's got a little yellow on him, too. This is interesting. He's got a little yellow and kind of orange on this leg. This leg's kind of, this back leg's kind of burnt sienna. Okay. Then he's got a little dark brown on the top of him, like that. And everything on him is at an angle, too. This is very interesting. Very nice little orange-headed dog. So when you get to this part of him, his head... It's all kind of orange, and it's all kind of orange here. And then it's very dark between his legs, like that. And you still see, you're still seeing the seat here, but that's okay. All right, so here's, here's him, and his tail's coming up like this. And then it goes all yellow and white. Kind of um, lighter tail. So we almost got him. So, you're not uploading this directly to YouTube, are you, John? No. No. It doesn't have to check it, though, when we're done. Yeah, because I might want to do a different introduction on it. You know, since it's not a 10-minute one anymore. Well, I think it's fine. Most of your 10-minute ones aren't 10 minutes. That's true. All right, top of his nose is white. And he's got his, actually his, this is a lot of detail on this dog. It's got his little mouth is open like that. And uh, let's see, let's move all this out of the way. Okay, what do we got here? So we've got a, kind of some fur coming off his back like that. It's all zigzaggy. A little bit of an ear here. 
and uh, he's got his eye right there. A little bit of a dark nose. This is sort of fun. The challenge is, can I get it that small? You know? And, uh, well, we'll go for it. You know, we're trying. Let's see, can we get his little face that small? On the top of his head? Back like this. And, uh, you know, you could put anybody's dog in the boat. Could be your dog. Doesn't have to be this kind of dog. Might be more personal if you put your own dog in. Uh, like I say, there's a, like a, he's got a little white here on the top of his nose, and um, sort of light, right? Really, just yellow and white here under his chest, like that kind of, where he's all furry. A little bit of color. He's definitely one of those sooner dogs, sooner one kind of dog than another. There's all kinds of colors in this dog. There's even some light purple up on here on the top, too. Did you not? Did really, honestly, I kid you not. There's a little bit of light purple on this dog. And, um, like I say, a little bit lighter up here, like this. Here he is. How are we doing? Does he still look like a dog? I can't tell. Good dog. Sometimes if you just turn it upside down, you know what I mean? It just, uh, uh, okay, so the trick for his head is to get it, is to put her dark dress underneath his head. That way his head shows up. Okay, that's the trick there. You can make it dark there. Okay, now you can kind of see his head. And, uh, He has, she's give, he's given him a little bit of light on the top of his head, back behind his neck. I don't know. Something. <coughs> Cad yellow medium and Cad red medium make a very nice light orange. Very nice, pretty light orange. And so I'm going to put some of that on the dress now. And uh, just a little bit here. So the dress is actually three colors. And there's some of this orange on this dog right in here, some red color on his face. Okay, so how are we doing here? I think it's very clever how he was painted myself because you don't really see him exactly. He's just little bits of color, you know, like there's a little bit of dark fur coming up this way by his head and his chest, and then even little bits of white underneath. I don't know if he left the paint or that's some gray or something, but there's just little tiny bits of white so he shows up. Let's see, how do you do the back end of this? A little bit lighter on top. And so here, to make that work, I need to get her arm down here closer to the dog see now he's he looks to me like he's just about ready to shake and there's his big ear here coming up like right there there's his ear there I wonder if I could I think I see a dog now um, I don't know if I see his tongue sticking out, kind of like his did. Man, that's a lot of detail for a little dog here. I don't know if I can pull that off. Did you know if you have to do something really small, you can take a, a, a magnifying glass and look through your magnifying glass to figure out how to do that? If, you, if you're trying to get something real small and you can't see it, um, just put a magnifying glass over what you're painting and um, and it works really well. Okay, so here's the back of the dog. I think. Put a little bit more light on top of the top of his back, so he shows up more. Though he did have the black going all the way across the top too, like this. There, something like that. That's what happened. Okay. 
Now, how are we doing with this? Okay, so his tail is all camouflaged in the back here with all this this um, background stuff. Is that big white fluffy thing his tail? Yeah, this big white fluffy thing's his tail. <laughs> well, maybe it's too big a tail. Who knows, right? I don't know. It wasn't my dog. You know, just it's a big tail. No question about it. It's a big tail, right? We'll just make it a little smaller by using some orange around it. How's that? There it goes. And I need some, I need this to be a little bit more rough right here like that, where his back leg is. I'm not happy with that. And then he has something dark back here too. He, he put some dark underneath, okay, which we can do. He's got some dark underneath here too. So, um, oh yeah, and then he did this. He did that with the keel things, like that. These two lines going down like that inside the boat, which I thought was clever. Did he do it over here? Yeah, he's got one right here too. All right, well, we're, we're getting authentic here, aren't we? Okay, this was sort of a light green color. Tim, so I'm just, it's fun to just do the different colors and see what you get, right? Let's just lighten up some of this here like that. Not too much white and just more of a light green. Now I'm just coming around, just keep spinning this around till I see what I want. Now over here there was a little bit of light blue right under her hat. Let's take a little phthalo. There's a lot of, come on, we're going to, let's pop this um, color up a bit. We're going to take some phthalo blue and white because that's your um, complement of orange. And let's, let's, um, Let's get that next to her uh, hat with a little bit of the, the ultramarine, like that, this way. There we go. Those are complementary colors. I think you want to put those in there. I don't care whether he did or not. They just kind of make the picture. Okay, and then everything's about overlapping. So, you know, every time you do stuff like this, you know, just sort of, I'm like, you know, he's got. Um, He really, honestly, it's such a guy picture. I, no, I don't say that to be disrespectful, but it is such a guy picture. This is? Yeah, such oh, a guy picture. That. It is such a guy picture with the way he did the boat and all the little junk on the boat. You know what I mean? It's just a, such a guy picture. It's making realistic. It's a realistic impressionism. I guess so. He added a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? It seemed very important to him to add all this stuff, you know? But again, we want to come back in here like this with the blue. Uh, put a little brown with it to age it. Now you can't get too crazy about the colors because here's what I'm going to tell you is that, um, see we're still overlapping our colors now. This is where this stuff like this gets really neat. This is where it really starts to look impressionistic as everything's layered. Is that um, the colors that, that we're seeing in this picture, who knows what it really looked like. We just It may not have looked like this at all. We can kind of go with the values, but that's about it. So we want it light around this boat like this. Keep coming across here with our light colors. Remember we filled it in once. Now we're gonna come back over here on this side and do that over here too. If you can keep overlapping this, that's what we want you to do. And I hope you've been subscribed. You know, if you um, are watching this on YouTube, I hope you are subscribing to our channel. Uh, you know, that's really, really nice to do and to share these videos with people. Learn a little bit about the old dead guys and um, have fun painting them too, right? All right, so you see how we're getting, this is, wow, this is coming along now. I'm kind of happy with this. <laughs> it seems like all paintings go to an ugly stage. Well, they kind of do, and, you, and it's, sometimes it's very hard to paint in public because of that. Because you always have some happy little person <laughs> coming along going, what's that? Doesn't look I, like I that. Um, well, there's always someone doing that. And, you know, they can't help themselves, right? Because it doesn't look like anything till it does. Uh, how's that? Doesn't look like anything till it does. Well, you're true. So we come back up here with our, with our outline of our um, boat. Now here we're com coming along here with our greens coming along here like this with at the angle like this 
next to the boat. And some of this almost got very yellowy in here, like in here next to the boat. I just have to say that what I really liked about this picture was all the colors in it. I mean, this was a man after my own heart, all the colors he put in this picture. Um, yes, it was like kind of, uh, you know, kind of brown in here, but it was re you really did a nice job with all the all the colors in the boat. Now we're going to back it up here like this and see see what we've got. Um, do we feel like we have the dog outlined enough? And I may, want to make sure I have this yellow right here because this is this light yellow that's going to kind of lock the dog in in place. It's back. Okay. So there he goes. Here's a little bit of purple. You see me always wiping the brush off. I'm going to do a little tiny bit of an outline right under the hat. And I want to bring his face, face, her face down a little bit more than I have it. My tracing didn't wasn't that successful. I don't I need to bring her face down just a little bit more, more of an oval shape. Kind of the cad red medium and white. Like that. Okay. And then her coat's coming up like that on the side, you know, kind of back around her collar. Okay. So that's kind of, that's, I think that's showing up pretty well. What do you think, John? Is that come, you think that's showing up pretty well? We think so. Not listening anymore. He's off doing something else. All right. So the inside of this dog, his tummy is right like this. Yeah, we're zooming in and out. You're zooming in and out. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was just, I was just going to show you too. Are you zoomed out or in? Are we do you, you in or? Yeah. I want to show the big ones, but let's let's just take let's just take stock of this for a minute and see how we did, which I think we did pretty well on this as far as you know how to do you know. We're not, again, we're not trying to do exactly like his, but we're just doing a few of these, um, uh, you know, overlapping brush strokes to create something kind of interesting, I think. A little bit of this red here, a little bit of this cad red medium in here, a couple of places. Red always looks nice next to green, so we'll put that. And um, I'm, I can see where my, do you see how my paint dried so much darker there? You know, my my water. See, over on this side, how it's so much darker. I'm going to add a little bit of purple to that and white and lighten this up. Because I feel like this got really, really uh, dark. So let's just lighten this up a bit here, over here. Come right next to this boat and lighten it up. And the same thing over here. But this is the next layer of light next to this boat because we just had it too dark. And that's one of the things that's very misleading about acrylics. This is a little ultramarine blue and white and purple. And that's kind of mixing with these other colors. And now that looks pretty good. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's nice. Get that color. So you're zooming, you zoom back out, but I think that you can see where I still have all those colors in it. But look what that did. Look what did. Look, look, look what that did when I went ahead and um, added that color and maybe darken this a little bit over here. You know, just nothing is ever quite. And when you, when you have something like this, it's like a cheat sheet. They told she told you exactly where you wanted the color, so you're not you don't have to rethink this. I mean, you know, okay. You know. Okay, so let me get one more thing here with the Kleenex. I'm gonna get. I hope my cold's gone by tomorrow. All right, so now, um, let's see. I'm gonna just lighten her face up, just a hair, right on this side, and just dry brush it on. 
right there, just on this side, I'm going to lighten her face. Well, I'm not going to try to do too much with it, and because the back of her hat, you know, this is, you know, we've got gold on the back of her hat, and um, there. I think we're going to call that good. And uh, wow, can't think of anything else I want to do to it except make sure that I've got it light enough next to the dog. Put a little light on him here. Okay. And where's our little leg here? I've got to make that smaller. His back leg's too big. Just, I'm not real clear what she, what he did here, but I can kind of see it. He's saying that there's a bench there, and then this is dark right there. And then his little doggy leg went here, kind of straddling the bench. And we're just going to do this. Make sure this line is, uh, this is white here. You know, there's got to have that little seat light. I mean, that really is important. Next to her. Okay, what do you think? I think he had. Yeah, I was going to show you some other stuff if you thought you might like to do this. Um, this is a Mary Cassette um, lady and her dog. This is one of the old dead artists. This is a video we have on YouTube. I think it's really kind of neat. He liked this kind of thing. Um, we also have Lady in the Garden on YouTube, which is another one of the Impressionist paintings. And this is a, a Monet of a gal reading her lady in the, reading a book in the grass. That's on our, our Art Academy website, this one, 8 by 10. So those are some different ones that we have that you might, uh, you know, find uh, helpful. And I'll just do one little more shadow here on, on her face where it's just kind of a little bit darker under the hat. Because again, I'm not putting any detail in the face. We're just allowing for that. I think this probably was a lot bigger. You guys want to know what size this was originally? See, this was uh, 30 uh, centimeters by 45. So this was a lot larger than what, what I'm doing, right? But, uh, you know, that's okay. You know, we're, we're just doing a little tiny... This is, you're supposed to be, these are supposed to be little fast sketches. Okay. Think so, huh? How much so? How many inches is 30 centimeters? 30 centimeters is 11.8 inches. Yeah. So it's like probably 11 by 14. Well, you got to give him kudos for getting all that detail in there, don't you? I think he did great. I, I've loved him. I think it's better than the original, but I always do. Oh, you're nice. Thank you. Well, you got so many more colors. Well, I do. And, and you know, a dog like this always has a little color in his tail, too. It's just not a white tail, right? Well, it goes back like that. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have a lot of colors in it. I think it's very, I think it's kind of nice. Then he had, believe it or not, he had some stuff floating. He had something that was floating like that with a little purple shadow underneath it. A few little floaty leaves here. Not too many, but he had a few. Some of the little dark stuff. A little bit of dark right under her hat. Whoops, don't like that. Hang on. Uh, then right next to her face, it's light, though. It's dark under her hat and then got real light next to her face. So we got to do this. Let me just turn this. Got to do this right next to her face. Huh. I mean, there's such stuff that you have to know when you're doing stuff like this. You know, wherever there's a light, there's a dark, so if something doesn't show up, you've got to put it. Okay, this is all our orange side over here. 
wonder if we could pop up some colors in this place, right like this. Pop up some colors. Pure cad red medium on her dress now in a couple of places. Get it a little bit brighter, just a couple places. Are we turning the lights on and off? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm turning the lights on and off for sure. I'm coming back under here and I'm turning the lights on and off. I'm just saying what something is, okay? Um, that's that's about um, you know you've got you know you know it's darker under this. Um, uh, In the water, and I'm going to brighten up the green here like this. And I'm just looking to see where else I want anything. It came right up to, oh, I see that now. See, the green comes, follows this curve right up like that. Okay. And this looks like it was a rock here now that I'm looking at it a little more. It's like some sort of little rock here, but that's all right. I think we can just say we're we're pretty good I like it. I'm liking that and I'm, I'm oh look 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 I can see that see it's lighter I'm turning on the lights you guys so right next to this post I'm just going to pull that out there like that so that this uh, the this this shows up and then this comes around here like that you know so that you've got your your you know your nice uh, curve at the top of that boat, which is light. And that goes up to the. I think that's where the oars are. Okay. Again, not that dried darker on me, so I got to lighten it up here again. It's probably what he did too. It's probably why he had so many colors in it. Because it lightened up on him too, and he had a little bit of this under the boat, like that. Something like this that happened underneath this boat, and he had a little bit of light, believe it or not, a little tiny bit of light. Look, he just put this little color of light right there. You don't see it, but that's what he did. Huh. <laughs> okay, so. Um, And there was a, you know, there was a little blotch of white right there. Maybe it was her handkerchief. Maybe she had a cold too. <laughs> well, the way she... you painted it, it looked like a fall day with her kind of a heavier coat on and all the colors from leaves or something in the water. Yeah, and she had, believe it or not, she had. He gave her a tie back here, like behind her dress, like this. He gave her just a little bit of a tie. You don't really see it that much, but he just definitely gave it to her. Gave her this tie. And then there was something dark. Remember where that color was right here, where this is? This was dark right next to this collar. It got dark right like that. So I get, he was very, he was a master at deciding um, the lights and dark so stuff would show up. So you see how much better that shows up since I did that, right? Really no different than we used to. No, but I mean, they're, they have art schools to teach this stuff because there's a reason it works. I mean, it's all very well to go be able to sit there and trace something and be able to paint it on, but if you don't know why you did it or how you did it, then the next time you try to paint something, you know, you try to, but if the more you, you know, to try to understand what these guys did, why they did it. Does that make sense? What did they do and why did they do it? There, a little bit more of the orange going this way. I would say I'm going to just back this up now. And again, her dress got... Wow, how could her dress get so dark on me? So interesting. guess I'm out of white paint. We'll finish this up. I just want her dress to be a little lighter than I've got it. And I'm out of white. It's okay. I'm going to just do white and cad red medium, um, a little bit of yellow. What really light here. What else have we got? Um, 
here's just some um, naphthal crimson, which is your pure red. I think I want a little bit of just some pure red somewhere. Just a drop or two. Take it right out of the tube. Okay, I feel like she's showing up a little better now. <coughs> and then he did... No, he didn't do that. He did... Uh, He did the underside of this board light so that you would see her, um, so the dark of her dress would show up under here. See, this is where her dress is, and you've got to, got to show up there. Okay, I'm going to call it done. I'm going to sign it. I don't know, what was it, an hour and a half into this now? What are we, John? Just an hour. Just an hour, okay. It's a great painting. Is it? All right, so this is not straight up and down. Okay, we can fix that. Wait, 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 wait. What are you going to straighten up? This has to be straight up and down. According to who? According to his picture. I've got it at an angle, but I think it has to be straight. It's got a slight bow to it. Yeah, maybe it bows. That's what it does. It bows in from like the that. To the right, it bows into the left. Yeah, okay. All right. Pull it that way. There. Oh, isn't that nice? That looks good, and a little bit of this light along here like that. That's pretty. And again, I could be playing with this for hours because it's really fun. And I want it to be a little bit lighter underneath her seat right here. There. Oh, cool. And we'll sign it right there. Right there. Oh, really? I thought we were done over on the other side mm -hmm. great. No, I think I want it right here because there's not a lot of room over there. No, you're right. So I'm always right. <laughs> Just ask me. There. Okay. So there's Cook. I think that was sort of a cool thing to do. And if I wanted to do more detail, this is where your Posca pens would come in. If you needed to, and you would do this, you would wait till it dried really well so you didn't like it, you could wipe it off. But you possibly, I think I have a brown Posca pen somewhere, but who knows where they are. But I had one. I might do a little bit more of an outline on her mouth or, or try a little bit of, um, you know, something for her lips or something like that. Maybe a, um, you know, suggest um, Just come up here like this and suggest a mouth, something like this. But you just probably that's not going to work. So never mind. I don't think we'll do that. We won't even fool with it. We're just going to call it done now. So all right. So let me just move this all out of the way so you can kind of see it. This is what we've got. Here's our, where did our little original go? Where'd that go? Here. Here's our, here's our. Here's our picture. I think I had a bigger one though. Where's my bigger picture of this? Do you have it over there? Did you? Did I give it to you? Give me the glossy. Let me have the glossy so I can show people. So here's our glossy, and you see there really is everything is very blurred on it, right? Here's our glossy, but. You know, um, there you go. There's our little lady. This is, what was her name? Miss Motes. Miss Motes. Miss Motes. Um, and her dog. And her dog, her, and her dog, Shep. Her dog is named Shep. Her dog, Shep. Uh, 1893 oil on canvas. And uh, Theodore Robinson was the artist. Well, I just uh, wanted to appreciate, you know, sometimes when John and I are traveling, um, you know, we kind of need your help to keep our um, to keep our numbers up to let people know that uh, sometimes that YouTube sort of falls away when we're not there to do live classes. So I hope you, uh, you know, help us out on that, share these videos, and um, please check us check out our website, gingercooklive.gallery. Um, we're 
probably at this point, when you're going to see this, we're very close. To, if we're not on the waiting list for personal art coaching, you can still join, though, and become put on a waiting list for personal art coaching, well, which is... Huh? When he shows. When these when this airs, John feels that you know you'll that there'll be a waiting list, but that's okay. Don't let that deter you. Um, it's the best art school in town, I promise you. I think it's the most exciting thing that people have done. And also, when you become a member, a regular member of our uh, Ginger Cook Live dot gallery now, um, you automatically get a membership into our private Facebook club, which we've uh, that's the only way to join now. But you have to tell us you want to join. Okay? Well, thanks for watching. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.